Hey guys, Wrestling Rambles 89 back with another reaction video today. This time I'll be reacting to Stone Cold talking about the time he met Andre the Giant. Now this actually took me by surprise. I didn't ever expect Austin would have had the chance to meet Andre since they're from kind of different eras. But if he's got to meet him, it should be an interesting story. So I thought I'd throw up a reaction video. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Did you ever get to be around Andre much? Man, I remember it was probably... I, it's, it had to have been 92 or 93. We're at a television taping in center stage. It's got to be around that time frame. And this was when Andre was on crutches. And I remember yeah. in the documentary, they showed him on those crutches. Damn. He was on those things when he was walking across center stage. And it, man, there he was. And I was a WCW guy. I had just come from USWA. Before that, I was in Dallas. Mm. Andre had been all around the world for, you know, at that at that point for probably 30 years. Yep. And he was on that downhill, you know, descent that, that he was kind of going through physically. And man, I was a nobody, dude. I was I was Steve Austin, or I guess I was stunning Steve Austin because I was in WCW. Probably. But you know, compared to Andre, man, I was a J bro. But <laughs> I knew that I had to introduce myself to Andre. He didn't know who the hell I was. But out of all the stories that I'd ever heard and all the the matches that I'd seen of him and the legend of Andre, dude, that's one of those that's one of those things where you just got to go shake his hand. Hell yeah! Gosh. Very intimidating guy. Uh, especially because I was young in the business and this guy was uh, such a legend and obviously Andre the Giant. So, man, I, I walked up to him and I said, hey, Andre, I said, my name's Steve Austin. I said, I just want to shake, shake your hand and, and say nice to meet you. So, dude, I introduced myself to him. I met the man in person and that's all I got. But, dude, I just had to because I, I had to pay my respects because we call him the eighth wonder of the world and people always talk about these bullshit Mount Rushmore <laughs> things and stuff like that. But, Andre, just like just like Vince said, Andre was an attraction. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, in his younger days, I mean, dude, he could do some scientific, you know, so a little bit of technical wrestling. He kind of slowed down, you know, as he turned into, you know, really the giant after he went through all the name changes. And then Vince got a hold of him. And, you know, dude, you know, he did his basic formula. You know, if he didn't like you, he was going to toss you around the ring, you know, torture you. Like, I, you know, I'd heard that he wasn't real fond of Jake and Snake Roberts. And they would be in a tag match. Rick Rude and Jake would be team, teaming up against Andre and somebody, or maybe it was a handicap match. And Andre would just stand on Jake's hair and just surfboard him and pull his arms back, you know, do yeah. stuff like that. But uh, And then, you know, like Jake would just be looking at Rude, and Rude would be over laughing his ass off because he knew what the deal was, just wanting to tag out. But, you know, dude, he was an attraction. It was interesting to hear Vince talk about – and that's that's why Vince has always been so smart. You know, like he knew he was an attraction. He wasn't, you know, uh, a guy that was going to work a different match, you know, with, with another guy. He was going to work the Andre the Giant match. Of course. And so, man, you know, he loaned him out to all the damn different promotions, kept everybody happy, and he kept Andre fresh. And, dude, that's, that, you know, when you think about it, you had to protect Andre. And, and, and yeah. that was, I mean, you had to protect him. You, well, you did. But it was really interesting how uh, he was basically always kept out of the the world. Yeah, so that was... I wasn't sure. I wasn't really expecting that. Austin didn't have much of a meet him, but I'm glad he got the chance to meet him and shake his hand. Austin was really early in his career, so I guess that does make sense. As my own, as my own mistake, I was thinking more like the Stone Cold era, or even Ringmaster more so than Stun and Steve when he was first starting out in WCW. So that does make sense. Um... Again, glad he got to meet him. It clearly meant something to Austin at the time. And Andre the Giant's one of the most legendary pro wrestlers of all time. Hell of an attraction, as Austin said. Would tour around every promoter wanted him at the time. Super impressive. Obviously, long before the days of guys like The Big Show and Great Khali, even, for the Super Giant guys. But, yeah, just... I thought that would be interesting. It was okay. A little disappointing, so sorry, guys. But I still hope you enjoyed Thank you so much as always for watching, hope you did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, I upload new videos every single day, this is Wrestling Rambles 89, signing off.